Hey guys, I'm Asia, and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be uh, continuing on with uh, Rotocraft. The What we're going to build today is a Blast Furnace, which is probably the first thing you'll want to make uh, in the Rotocraft uh, mod. And it's been essentially used to convert um, your iron ingots into HSLA steel ingots, which are pretty much a primary material in Rotocraft. And it's pretty easy to make a, um, a Blast Furnace. And you're going to need some stone, change it into stone bricks, uh, put stone bricks on the outside, and one redstone in the center, you've got yourself a blast furnace. Pretty simple. The blast furnace uh, requires an external heat source. Um, you can see on my Wayward interface, it's a temperature of 40 degrees, 43 degrees Celsius. It needs to be roughly about 600 degrees Celsius. Uh, and to get it to about 600 degrees Celsius, a bucket of lava under it, above it, or below it, or on, on the sides of it should get it there. It does take a little bit of time. As you can see, the temperature is creeping up. Um, I should point out, um, depending on what kind of biome you're in, right, the ambient temperature could potentially uh, make this build um, impractical. Uh, so we're in a desert, so the ambient temperature is about 40 degrees um, roughly. If you're over in say a uh, winter biome, a snowy biome, um, just putting lava in the, behind it may not be enough to get it to 600. Um, you can increase the temperature by putting a friction heater um, next to it, which is um, a machine laid down the track right. But if you haven't got one of them, you haven't got the, the ability to heat it up to 600 degrees Celsius, um, what you can do is you can just merely just uh, put it into a biome that's uh, close by and hopefully that biome has a, a normal so basically plains land hills like that will deserts oceans rivers um, all those biomes um, generally can do it um, a good hint for radiocraft is to build your base uh, near uh, like an intersection of biomes so um, we're in a desert right now but if we need a, a cooler climate we can go just a little bit over there to a river or just a little bit further to the plains or the river, I um, mean the ocean I should say, and if we need a cold one, um, you don't generally need cold biomes that much unless you want to freeze liquids, which doesn't happen that often, um, but we've got that wintry biome just over there if we need to expand the platform out there. Uh, it's still 200, um, it will heat up faster during the day, um, it does get colder at night uh, as night time generally does. Um, I will be back as soon as it gets up to the required temperature of 600 degrees Celsius. Okay, and we're back, and we've got over 600 degrees Celsius, so now we can actually move on to turning our iron ingots into the HSL steel ingots. Um, if you haven't got Whaler, uh, right-clicking uh, will give the UI, uh, will give you this uh, uh, degrees here. And as you can see, it does, it can go higher. Um, you will require uh, it to go to about a thousand or so degrees to get to certain alloys, um, which is where the friction heater comes into, into it, um, increasing it further than what uh, lava can. Um, I suppose you could always take it to the, uh, to the never and get an ambient temperature of 100 degrees to start off with. Um, but apart from that, so let's get on to creating the HSLI steel ingots. Um, in this section here is where you've got nine slots to put the iron into. Uh, on the left hand side, um, there's three slots. The top hand slot is where you put sand. The middle slot is where you put either coal or coal coke. Um, and the bottom slot here is the uh, gunpowder. Um, so you're going to need it in that order to create the HSL steel ingots. Um, I did mention just before that the you can put coal coke in here, uh, which actually does give it a efficiency bonus. Um, if we look at the info page, it does say somewhere in here, but um, so the coal itself isn't a fuel source. Okay, uh, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere gunpowder? No coal or coal coke. Um, okay, yeah, somewhere in there it says it's more efficient still okay anyway here we go with the bonuses okay uh, the way I see it is that for every single 
um, middle slot to use up where the iron goes in, you've got an increased chance uh, of getting an extra HSL steel ingot out of that slot to a maximum of 50% per slot, um, which has a, this is, this is worded weird for me. Uh, <laughs> so the maximum amount of HSL steel ingots that you can get as a bonus is 100%. So if you put in nine, the max you're going to get back is 18. Um, I don't usually see 18 that often, but I do see uh, like 14 and 16 pop out all the time. Um, and this is where the coal coat comes into it. Um, from my testing is if you put uh, ordinary coal in there, um, you don't get anything back. Um, or you do get the iron you put in into HSLs doing it, but you don't get the bonuses. Um, but the cold coke you do. So uh, it's important that you do use cold coke. Uh, cold coke is pretty easy to make. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just get coal and just place it in the slots like that. As you can see, it starts working. And it should give us nine coal coke back. Uh, from my testing, um, where I've put in 64 iron into a, uh, a blast furnace with coal and 64 iron into a blast furnace with coal coke, the, the coal one only gave you 64 HSL steel ingots. The coal coke one gave me uh, anywhere between 70 and 74. And I ran this test multiple times and the results were pretty much the same. So you definitely want to use coal coke. There we go. So the coal coat goes in the middle, sand goes at the top, gunpowder goes at the bottom. So you have to probably find and kill a creeper for that. And then what you want to do is um, a good idea is either to left click and hold or right click and hold, just so as you're placing the iron in there, it doesn't start prematurely. As you can see, the arrow is not going because I've still got the right hand. Uh, right mouse button still left in. I'm going to release it now and it should start now. The way I say that is because remember each one you each of these slots that you fill up has a chance of giving you a bonus so um, you don't want to start it prematurely with just one. Okay, and we, so there we go, there's a bonus. Even though it wasn't the 18th, it's 12. Um, it's certainly more than what we were expecting so and there we go. So that's how I make how we make our HSL steel ingots with the uh, blast furnace. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me down below. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe as always, because it always helps me. There's a bonus of two. Actually, no, we chucked in nine. It's a bonus of one. Maths ain't my strong point, which is odd because I like Rotorcraft. So what are we going to get again? This one, um, 12, not bad. As you can see, uh, this is probably the best way of creating HSL steel ingots. Um, there are other ways of doing it, uh, but main, they're mainly converting steel into other forms of steel. Okay, so we didn't get a bonus on that one. I think that's about it for today, guys. Until next time. Ready, aim, fire.